This is practice packet. This is lesson 2.7, all about decimals. So we talked about place value, rounding, and adding and subtracting. So this is practice packet pages 12 through 13 here. We're going to start off with the section determining place value. So we're identifying the place value of the underlined number. So in this first example, our underlined number is the 6, and it is located in the hundreds place because it's 600. In number 2, the 4 that's here is located in the hundredths because it's to the right of the decimal point and two spots over. The seven that's here is in the tenths place. The five that's here in number four is in the tens place. This eight is going to be in the thousandths. The 12 is in the ones. And then for seven, that six is in the hundredths place. So make sure you have that THS at the end. The nine is in the tenths place, and the seven is in the tens place over here. In the next section, we're talking about rounding, rounding to the nearest whole number. So we'll look just to the right of the decimal. This will round to one. Just to the right of the decimal is a five, which will make this round up to a 10. To the right of the decimal is a one, which will leave this here at a six. Looking at the tenth place, we want to have one number after the decimal point here on all of these. So we'll look towards that second number. Second number is a 2, so this is going to stay at 19.8. Second number is a 6. That will actually make this bump up to a 15.8. Second number following this is a 9, so we're going to go up to a 17.1. There should be no other digits after your tenths place here. So don't add a 0 one to the end. We just want one digit after. Rounded to the nearest hundredths, this one's going to look like money. So we have 9.63. That 4 is going to let this stay at 9.63. 11.59, that 1 will keep it at just 5.9. And 12.28, that 5 is actually going to make that 8 to go up to a 9. So we have 12.29 here. Over on your next page, talking about adding and subtracting decimals, we want to make sure that we are going ahead and lining up our decimal point here. So we have 29.42. Add on that 0. 8 plus 0 is 8. 5 plus 2 is 7. 8 plus 4 is 12. Bring down the decimal point. Add, and then we get an 8 right there. So 80.278. In this one, 49.96 plus 13.27. 6 plus 7 is 13, carry your 1, it's going to be a 12, carry your 1, that'll be a 13, and 4 plus 2 is 6, don't forget your decimal point in there. Subtracting these following decimals, we're going to do 42.741, 27.37, and we'll add a 0 onto the end here. 1 minus 0 is 1, we can't do 4, so we have to borrow. 14 minus 7 is 7. 6 minus 3 is 3. Bring down your decimal point. Can't do 2 minus 7, so we have to borrow. 12 minus 7 is 5, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So we get 15.371. 87.22 minus 46.91. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 9 we can't do, so we have to borrow. 12 minus 9 is a 3. Bring down your decimal point. 6 minus 6 is 0, and 8 minus 4 is 4. So we have 40.31 on that last one. Three problems down at the bottom here are going to be adding and subtracting. Sally used 8.743 inches of ribbon to make a bow for her hairband, and another 12.325 to make a bow for her hat. Determine the total length, which tells me that we're going to go ahead and add these two together. So 12.325. 3 plus 5 is 8, 4 plus 2 is 6, 7 plus 3 is 10, so I'm going to carry my 1, 10, 11, carry my 1, and make sure that we have that decimal point in between there. It is a word problem, so we're going to need a label, and we're also going to have to round our answer to the nearest tenth. So tenth means one number after. That 6 is going to make this round up to 21.1 inches of ribbon. Question number six, the Cooper family owns a luxury sedan and a compact car. The fuel tank capacity of the luxury sedan is 22.45 gallons, and that of the compact car is 8.7. Find the difference in the fuel tank capacities of the two cars. 
So we're going to be subtracting the bigger minus the smaller, adding that zero on. Five minus zero is five. And four minus seven we can't do, so we'll have to borrow. 14 minus 7 is 7, bring down the decimal point, and 21 minus 8 is going to give me 13. So I have 13.75 gallon difference. And as long as you have gallons or gallon there, that would be good enough. The difference is just an extra word that you can add. The last one here, Victoria deposits a check that are worth $91.34 into, into her checking account. She also deposits $42.67 into her savings. How much did she deposit in all? So that's asking us to add these two together. So we have $91.34, $42.67. 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry my 1. 3 and 6 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. So I'll put the 0. Carry my 1. Bring down my decimal point. 1, 1, and 2 is 4. And 9 plus 3 is 13. So she deposited $134.01 in all. And that is it for your practice packet then for um, lesson 2.7 with decimals.